Hello, I am Daniele Clary, Software Architect for Aeon Europe. Today I'm going to show you how to deploy an offline private LoRaWAN network using our LoRa Edge Gateway and the TTN Stack V3. Aeon is a worldwide industrial PC manufacturer, part of the ASUS Group, with a strong focus on industrial IoT and innovation. We are expert into standard form factor uh, computers, but also we provide customization from board level to full system solutions to our customers. For the LoRaWAN wireless technology, we provide a complete solution line starting from a LoRa end node sensor platform based on the Murata chip and then going up to different kind of gateways that can provide you a different uh, performance level but also the possibility to have an outdoor gateway as you can see with the IP68 outdoor LoRa edge gateway and this is where we are going today to show uh, the uh, setup of the, the Things network. Aeon has a strong ecosystem of partners that together bring additional value to our customer. We constantly evaluate new technologies and test them on our products so that our customer can easily develop solutions based on already proven technology. As mentioned before, today we are going to set up our system, um, an IP68 AppSquare LoRa Edge Gateway. And this gateway can be powered by any kind of operating system, Linux, Android, or Windows, but specifically to the Things Network and LoRa, we're going to do the setup using an Ubuntu Linux OS, in particular 18.04, and you can follow the setup instructions directly from our documentation on the community website. You can then, after installing the system, easily set up the remaining uh, options and features which are required for this setup. In particular, we need to enable the LoRa concentrator, which is connected to the system via SPI interface. And for that, it's simply required to download an archive and install the included scripts that they will enable the functionality. Once the system is rebooted, you will be able to use the LoRa concentrator on the gateway. Once the initial operating system setup is complete, we are going to continue on the configuration of the gateway. The most important part initially is to set up the LoRa packet forwarder and gateway. And we are going to use the software provided by Semtech, which have been forked in our repositories, specifically uh, configured for our gateways. Once the package has been downloaded from GitHub, you can easily extract and compile the LoRa gateway, which has been already configured with a simple make command. And then into the packet forwarder folder, you can easily compile with the make command the driver. At this point, we have only to start the concentrator providing the reset signal and then moving into the LoRa packet forwarder folder run the packet forwarder application. At this point the system is already providing a gateway functionality and it can communicate with LoRa device nodes. And now we are going to set up our LoRa private network using the Things Network V3 software stack. As you can see from this picture, 
the whole uh, network server is going to run together with the gateway platform that we already set up in our IP68 gateway. And we are going to use a simplified setup using Docker containers. In order to set up um, the Things Network stack, we need uh, some dependency to be uh, installed first. So we need Docker Community Edition and Docker Compose and that can be easily installed on Ubuntu via a dedicated repository. And then, of course, in order to manage the access to the network server, we need certificates. And we have two options, but uh, in this case, we are going to use a simpler self-signed certificate um, that we simply need to uh, install. And then with the commands, uh, as showed here on the slide, we're going to change the owner of the both of the two files so that they can be used by the uh, software stack. The last part that you need is simply a configuration file for the software stack, which comes from the Things Network uh, GitHub repository. In particular, this uh, uh, time we're going to show how to set up a version 3.7.0. There are just a few commands that needs to be run now to set up the network server. With a docker compose pool inside the folder where is located a docker compose configuration file, the system will download all the necessary components, including the Things Network B3 software stack. We initialize the database and we create an admin user with a following commands providing the name of the admin and the email to be used. We continue the setup to provide the uh, command line interface configurations and also to provide the um, console configuration together with the um, authorization system so that we can then log in into our console both um, uh, client uh, line interface or web interface and now with a simple command we can run our LoRa private network at this point we can uh, easily use the network server from the provided web uh, graphical user interface which is uh, uh, included in the things network b3 software stack and now we can open our browser and type just localhost and we are able to um, log in into the web uh, user interface of the things stack for LoRa1, providing the username password previously set up during the configuration. In this case, I've just put admin admin. We can go into the dashboard where we can start adding the configuration for our LoRa private network. We are going to add the gateway, which is uh, of course uh, on the, running on the same machine. And we previously started with the LoRa Puppet Forwarder. We simply click on gateways, we add a new gateway and we provide the information, in particular the EUI of the gateway, which is in the configuration of the LoRa Puppet Forwarder. And together with that, we provide descriptions and any other information. For, for sure, it's important to set up the correct frequency plan. And in this case, we are going to use Europe standard frequencies. Once we click on the gateway creation, we will see the gateway to be connected to our network server from the web interface. 
now we need to create a new gateway API keys we go to the API key uh, section adding a new key it's very simple just give it a name and select link as a gateway to gateway server as option to enable and create the API the next part is to create our application the application is the one that allows us to connect different nodes to our gateway and then of course to forward the data to another machine a server or another application external to the thing stack we can easily use MQTT and webhooks to send and receive traffic, which is already integrated in the Things Network stack. And now the last part is to configure our sensor device into the LoRa private network we just created. We add a new device simply clicking on the devices and then add device menu providing the correct information for the setup including the ui app key network key uh, depending on your specific device uh, type and configuration you will see once created that uh, the device is linked to our gateway and network server And then from your gateway configuration, you can see that the device is communicating and receiving data from the sensor. At this point, you can continue your development, creating application that collect information from the LoRa network, and you can further explore the possibility of connecting to other uh, services and other uh, servers using the integrated MQTT and webhooks in API. And now you can set up your own LoRa private network. Simply order one of our gateways from our online shop and select the gateway of your preference starting from the basic one for $479 or the more powerful AppSquare LoRa Edge Computing for $789 or if you need an outdoor gateway we have also the IP68 certified solution for you at just above $1,000 For your reference uh, i've added these links so you can find instructions on how to set up our gateways from our wiki and then once the gateway are correctly set up how you can set up your LoRa private network using the things stack p3 Thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and now you have a better understanding on how to set up a LoRa private network with the AppSquare Edge LoRa Gateway and the Things Network Stack V3. Thank you.